Sorry to keep y'all waiting. Um, has anyone had that Professor Rodriguez? She is the worst. Eugene, you've taken her, right? You can vouch. She always keeps us like 10 minutes after class. She's not that bad. We've been ready. Hey, I mean, who's out of my hands? Well, where should we get started? It's um, Russian history, uh, Romanovs, Rasputin. Commies, somewhere around there, I guess. I thought you were supposed to be really good at this. Maybe let's just start with the reading. Well, this is going swimming. Colette was murdered. Why are we doing this? Answer the question, please. I was in the study room. You didn't answer mine. Hmm. I'm investigating like we all agreed. Did we? As the resident Agatha Christie nerd, I'm the most qualified. Okay, come on. You know I'm only joking. I was the only one that saw Colette. Plus, we smelled the bitter almonds on her breath, which, you know, she was getting cyanide, and that takes 15 minutes to kick in. That, that rules me out entirely. All right, so you're investigating. Sure, fine. Investigate away. Molly, this is, this is serious. All right, listen, the truth is, I need your help. You do? I do. You're the only one without a motive, I don't even think you knew Colette. Plus, I know how you are. You do? Yeah, you're the type to show up 10 minutes early and think you're late. Honestly, I'd be shocked if you weren't the first one there. And you definitely remember everything you saw. Am I wrong? No. Good, because I could really use you, Molly. And what I need to hear is everything you saw... When? When everyone arrived. Thank you, Molly. Did anything or anyone seem suspicious? Out of place? No, not really. Are you sure? Molly, one of the people in that room killed Colette. I need to know if anything stood out to you. I'm sorry. I'm just... I don't know where to start. It's okay. Yeah, uh, alright. Um, here's what we're gonna do. You ready? Who came in after you did? Kendra came in next. No. Eugene. Molly. It was Eugene. Eugene came in after me. Are you sure? Yeah. He tried to be as quiet as possible. Naturally, that meant he bumped into every chair on his way in and made as much noise as humanly possible. Now, did 
did he say or do anything suspicious? No. We didn't really talk, to be honest. No, it sounds about right. Honestly, the fact that he came in is a really big move for him. Oh, poor guy. Is he that anxious all the time? Well, yeah, but I'm talking about his history with Colette. Do they know each other? See, when I interviewed him, he told me they grew up together. Oh, that's nice. She bullied him relentlessly. Okay, that's less nice. Yeah, um, perfect segue though. Uh, what about Colette? When did she get there? She came in with Kendra, actually. Oh, they walked in together. They're on speaking terms? Well, they weren't exactly... Speaking? No. So what happened? Well, they were already mad at each other before they got there. You know what was weird? I think they were talking about bread in the hall. Kendra does not seem to like it. They're dating, you know. Really? Either way, they came and sat as far apart from one another as possible. <laughs> All right, Molly, this, this is perfect. This is exactly the type of detective work I need. Is it? Honestly, it didn't seem that important. You don't think that's important? The murder was premeditated. Someone went out and bought cyanide just to kill her. That isn't something you do just for a spat. Molly, think about what you just told me. Kendra and Colette had a fight moments before she was murdered. How is that anything but important? I guess. It just doesn't seem likely to me because if you're- Listen, all I'm saying is that there's an established history between the two. Bad blood even. Okay. Well, that just leaves Carrie. What happened when she showed up? Believe it or not, she was actually the happiest to see Colette. As soon as she saw her, she said, Guess what? You've hit the $2,000 mark. <laughs> and it was all some sort of joke to them. Colette told her, Oh, please, you want it as a check, right? Harry said, You may as well send it through Western Union. She did ask her at one point, though. Be real, though. Am I ever going to see that money? Now that I think about it, Colette really hesitated there. I thought it was fine, though, because Colette said, how many people do you deal to now? And I didn't even know that Carrie dealt drugs, but somehow the answer is about half the campus. And here's the crazy part. Colette asked, how many of them owe you money? About half the campus. They just don't have daddy warbucks to pay it off. All right, well, we can talk about this when I'm back. And then they stopped when Colette got up to leave. Jack, it was crazy. <laughs> That's the craziest thing you think happened today? Molly, someone was murdered. Leave me alone. I don't know her like that. All right, all right. I'll cut you some slack. You did figure it out after all. What? No, I didn't. Okay, fine. Correction. You told me everything I need to know. Eugene? Eugene, what the hell? Fine, take your time. We're not trying to solve a murder here or anything. I, I, I panicked. What? You guys are up here for a while and I just, I couldn't take it. I mean, someone down there is a murderer and if they're in the same room, what are those? Nothing. L listen, uh, l let me finish before you judge me. These are my usual from Carrie, and, and she's been out of it for a while, but she, she happened to have some before, and well, I, I panic. That's great, Eugene. Uh, but we're busy up here. Um, it's fine. We've, we've got this under control. Okay, but there is a murderer down there. There could very well be a murderer. Jack, why would you say that? I... It's all right, Eugene. Just do what you need to do and then go back down, okay? Eugene, you don't need it. Just head down and we'll be there in a minute. Jack, right? he's having a panic attack. It's all right, Eugene. Do what you need to do. It's fine. I... Oh, that's... that's a bad idea. Let him stay until he's caught. And he took the pill.
Damn it, Carrie. What? Huh? What about Carrie? Okay, look, I, I wanted that big detective moment where we get either everybody together and we have the big reveal, but uh, uh, Carrie, Carrie just ruins that. And listen, we've established that everybody here has a motive, but just because people have a motive doesn't mean they have a means to kill. We smelled the bitter almonds on Colette, yeah? That means she was killed with cyanide, okay. And that means cyanide can only be bought on a black market. The only person that has access to a black market like that would be Carrie. But what about Eugene? What? Why would Carrie kill Eugene? But, um, he, he could have owed her money too. I mean, he's... I mean, come on, he's Eugene. Just take your pick, really. See, but here's the thing. It can't be Carrie. Molly, it has to be. Jack, you called me in here because I saw everything. Carrie never had an opportunity to kill Colette. If the pills are poisoned, that means someone slipped or something. But she never had an opportunity to kill Colette. I take that back. One person did. Molly? Wouldn't you have passed her? She left right before you came in. Molly, oh, this, this is insane. This whole situation felt wrong from the beginning. Molly? But we let you investigate. Because I'm the detective. Because we were all too freaked out. And you were counting on that, weren't you? I'm just trying to figure things out. You've been controlling this entire situation. Manipulating everyone in the room. You've been manipulating me right Molly, now. I swear, I, I I would never, I just, you see, I wanted to do the right thing, I wanted to catch our killer, and you know that that's Carrie, and I don't know how what she could have given Eugene just there, but if it was cyanide, it would have taken 15 minutes. It couldn't have been me, right? You think you're so smart, don't you? But you know what I smell right now? Bitter oak. She's trying to deceive you. When you poison someone with cyanide, it leaves the smell of bitter almonds. And how long did it take Eugene to die? A minute? You saw her in the hall. You had to. And that's when you put her. Oh, gee. I knew I liked you, but this one, this one hits a little below the belt. I, oh, who would have known that sheepish little Molly would be the one to figure it out? Oh, oh, I, I knew I liked you. Bravo. That's enough, Jack. Whatever sick plan you were working on, it's over. Oh, but it worked, didn't it? You know, I'll never become one of those high-profile detectives solving all the crazy big cases, but you know what? That's, that's okay. That's completely fine, because you'll never forget me, Molly. Will you? Maybe I won't, but at least I was able to do what you couldn't.